of a big bowl. Communion is different because of COVID. They're in the, so, little, they're in the little packs. Yeah, instead of it being passed around to everybody, now when you walk in, there's little pre-packaged little juices with a cracker built inside. And you grab one when you walk in if you choose to participate in communion. Well, my daughter, I notice we walk in and she goes to sit over with the teenagers and I go to my spot. But she walks in and after she thinks I'm around the corner, I see her stick her whole hand in there. And she grabbed as many as she could fit in her hand and then put them in her pocket like they were snacks for church. What did you say anything to her? Not in the moment because it was the middle of church and like 5 p.m. She's snacking on it at home. Yeah. No, but I know I, I just want her to understand the importance. The importance of respecting the communion and not grabbing a handful in front of the whole church and like putting it in her pocket to snack on. Why do they have it in a bowl? Because when last week they had it beside us, they had it beside the chair. Oh, well, maybe someone sets it set it out there. Yeah, I think but this was just... at ours when you walk in. Uh, it's just like right there. You can grab it out of a big bowl and go to your seat. And it doesn't taste good. You don't think so? No. Because the crackers what, gluten the, free. The wafer. It's because the wafer, it's gluten free. The wafer is stale as crap. That's it's why taste, it's not supposed to. I taste know, good. but I'm saying, why would you grab a bunch of them? I would understand. Oh, she likes the juice. the juice. It's not uh, about the cracker. That's true. She wants that grape juice. So good. Yeah, it's like Fanta to her. <laughs> that's true. The juice <laughs> is pretty solid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think why not make the cracker taste a little better? Like if it was a Nella wafer, because again, mm-hmm. it's just there to be symbolic. Yeah. You but, think the disciples said that? When they tried the bread. No, but the disciples they didn't have a bunch bread. in a bowl and you can reach in and grab and then go sit. You know? Yeah. Um, so you had a conversation with her? Yeah. Especially because she wants to get baptized coming up soon. I'm like, all right, well, we need to understand the importance of communion. And then when you're up there, you can confess. Eddie, anything for you? Yeah, this is recently. It was a baseball game and uh, the team won. So the coach got all the team in a huddle and he goes... Uh, everyone here played so good, so I'm going to give out game stickers to everyone. And then my son puts his hands up. He's like, I don't want one. And he goes, okay, all right, well, then I'll give game of the s- game stickers to everyone except Eddie's son. And I'm like, why would you say that? Just take the sticker. Why did he not want the sticker? It, it's his way of saying, like, I just didn't want a sticker on my helmet. But it, at the time, it was such a big praise. Like, you all played great. You get stickers. He's like, I, I don't want one. And I was like, God, you're embarrassing me. So I had to talk with him afterwards. Are they still playing? No, they just had their final one last week. And? They're good. They're, I mean, I have two boys in two different teams. One team, really good. The other team, not so good. And then how do you handle that? Uh, they, they just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, one team's younger. The other one's a little more experienced. Yeah. But, man, it's a big difference between the two. Peyton, Georgia, you are on the Bobby Bone Show. Peyton, what's happening? Hey, good morning. Morning. Um, so... My child is a big personality, and she actually embarrasses me constantly. But this specific time, um, you know how, like, when you're going to a store, and I don't know about you, but if I'm walking out empty-handed, I just kind of feel, like, guilty. Like, someone's looking at me like, is she stealing? Did she take something? Well, I was on my way out of the store empty-handed, and my daughter, who was seven at the time, screamed out really loud, oh, she's stealing? <laughs> and I was mortified. Literally, everyone in the store looked at me. And, you know, they can't ask you, like, you know, to look in your bag and stuff because uh, the policy. So you just kind of have to walk out, like, shamefully, feeling like you saw something. That was me. It is kind of a weird feeling to go in, spend some time looking, have a brief conversation with someone who works in the store, and then walk out with nothing. It is weird. It does. You do, uh, Don't be suspicious. Don't yeah. be <laughs> suspicious. That's what it feels like. That's funny. Thank you, Peyton, for the call. Appreciate that. Yeah, you bet. All right, Bye. bye-bye. Ashley in Louisiana is on the phone. Ashley, welcome to the show. What's going on? Good morning, studio. Morning. I've always wanted to say that. Okay. So I have a three-year-old named River, and we took her to dinner, uh, me and my mom, and we're walking out. She tries to take somebody's food off the plate. Then she saw somebody in a wheelchair, and she tried to, like, wheel them into the table. So that was embarrassing. Well, then we go to walk out, and there's, like, a man on the phone, and my child just up and grabs his junk. <gasps> what? <And> what? <laughs> and the kid, <sighs> you know, like, she just walks away like no big deal. And he's on the phone and looks down and is like, nobody's ever going to believe me when I tell them this story. So then, like, I should be apologizing, but all I can do is just die laughing. And that was not the first time. Like, now she just up and grabs people's junk and, like, girls' butts. I... I 
I did wrong with her. Oh, well, no, maybe because she sees you laughing. She's like, oh, this is a fun thing. So I don't know. Does she ever, are there ever like, do you she have to talk your, with she her? your butt? <laughs> well, so, I mean, my husband will like slap my butt, you know, like mm. jokingly. Yeah. <laughs> But maybe that's where she gets it from. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. that's probably it. But probably. do you talk with her about, hey, you shouldn't do that? Yeah, I mean, I, like, grabbed her hand, and I was like, River, no. Like, you can't do that. But That's not your wee-wee. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's funny. Thank you for the call. I can't imagine having the kid run up and grab some guy. Yeah, no. Like, what do you no. do? No, and I know that you want to laugh, but you can't laugh at, because then the kid will think they can just keep doing it, because clearly you think it's funny. <laughs> Thank you for the call. I hope you have an awesome morning. Y'all too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Stephanie, you are on the show. We're talking about how your kids embarrassed you in public. Stephanie, go ahead. Well, hey, Bobby. Actually, it wasn't what my kids have done to me. It's like several things that I've done to my mom, who loves you, by the way. Um, but the biggest story that my dad loves to tell everybody is when we were at I think it was like a Wendy's. I was probably like three years old, and um, my mom was bringing the food to the table. My dad had already sat down with me there in the high chair, and she, like, slides into the booth, and her butt rubs on the vinyl, and it makes, like, a really embarrassing sound. And out loud to everybody, I go, Putin, Mama? <laughs> like, the entire restaurant. There you go. The old fart sound. <laughs> Get you. Oh. Hey. 